this free lessons out here? <laughs> Sure, everybody, what you have, what you got. Hmm? Okay, so everything I need for today is right here. This is gonna be my cooler for today, my two um, Trader Joe's bags. And then I put ice in it. I went to the dollar store and I got like two bags, and I think it should be fine. Yeah, and then I got a poster too at the dollar store because I'm going to, it's going to say free water. You got to poop. Go do it now. I don't know. Hold on. I was going to do that when I'm done with this. I'm not talking to you. I'm going to try to. Oh. Oh, but you got to poop too. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to do that right now. Oh my god! No wonder it's 80. They're this small. Ah, oh, what the hell. I thought these were like the regular size water bottles. Oh my god. What the hell. No wonder. I got excited. No fuck, this is gonna be free. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't get the proper size. No wonder. Aww. I bought a pack of 80 and I was like, oh, that's a lot for, you know. For one case and no wonder they're like this big not the right size I thought I was getting the larger regular size water bottles that every normal person drinks instead I didn't know or realize that I got this size and I got so excited because they were like um it was a pack of 80 and I was like oh my god that's so awesome it's not even the right one these are so tiny like
also with the cardboard so it kind of like stays up. I just put like um, scotch tape. Oh wait, how am I supposed to like... <gasps> Fuck. I didn't realize. Shoot. So... The plan was to like have this sticking up so like people know what it's for. Um, okay, so the plan was to tape it to this part so that it stays up sturdy and when I'm walking, you can see what I'm giving out, right? Since I'll be pulling it. But, how am I going to pull it if I taped the back? I taped the whole cardboard to the thing and I kind of need it to. Well, I can kind of... No. Oh, uh, this isn't going to work. Okay, so right now we're at Pico and Aliso on First Street towards the Boyle Heights side. Um, the first challenge to getting to Skid Row is getting past the Los Angeles River Bridge, which is down the street. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's around 11.30 and it's not as hot yet, but I feel it's gonna be a hot one. It only said it was gonna be 81 degrees today but it's been so humid so let's just get going we got ways to go before we get to skid row we're not far but because i'm walking and i have the wagon with me it's gonna take a little bit more time here she is she's going strong here's purgatory pizza hi Hopefully my hold on. I want to check my sign. It's hanging in there. It's a little lopsided, but it'll do. It'll be okay. So we're barely down the street. I was like down the block over there. Um, but around all of LA, even in like the bougie areas, you'll see encampments like this where homeless people will, um, you know, set up and sleep at. So we're on the bridge. Okay, so Little Tokyo was that way. I was just pushing through because it's actually really hot. Um, we're on third, I think third and, in between third and fourth on San Pedro. I'm sweaty. It's so hot. Um, it's windy though, so it feels good. But the wagon is actually heavier than I thought. I was getting a little bit of like weird looks. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep pushing through until we get till probably like 8th in San Pedro. I think I'm gonna stop um, at the four-way intersection where the wine guard is. Um, and I apologize if my tripod is a little bit like I don't know if it's a little. But yeah, we're gonna keep going down San Pedro until we hit the four-way intersection where the wine guard is. And then I'm gonna post up there for a little bit. I think I sold about two to three water, not sold, 
I think I gave out three water bottles so far um, out of 80. I wasn't really counting. People were just coming up to me randomly and I was just giving it out. So it's, I think it's only been like three people. So we're just gonna keep going. So pretty much, as soon as I got to this corner, I started giving out more and more. So this is a pretty good hot spot. And the Western Center is right there. I think the wine guard is like down the street that way. Uh, but this seems pretty good for right now. So I'm gonna just keep giving them out. I ran out of my cold ones, so most of them are kind of like lukewarm right now. But I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going. It's crazy how we only like really walk like maybe less than like five blocks from Little Tokyo to get to, um, where we are now. Sorry! I just gave a guy a homeless water and I put it in the bag and he's taking it up to his room, I think. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna stay on San Pedro. I spoke to some people and they're just saying it's best to stay on San Pedro, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't feel weird. I don't feel weird or threatened or anything around here. Um, there's a lot of um, patrol anyways. So I feel okay, but I'm, I got my hands full giving out the water, so. Do you want water? Yeah, please. So I, okay. So I'm down to five water bottles. Um, they went pretty fast when I went down the block. Um, what street is that? So like between fifth and sixth, all my water bottles were, were going fast. Um, yeah, I had my camera in here most of the time because I'm honestly, I'm not really, ooh. I can't tell if that's something in the lens. Okay, so I'm down to four waters. I just gave one away. Um, so I was having a little bit of issues with my camera. I left it inside of the little wagon I was using and um, there was like ice melting and it kind of like spilled on my lens. So I was, I've been here for like five minutes posted up trying to like fix that. Got it fixed. Anyways, so I, like I said, I'm down to four water bottles. Pretty much once I got down to um, uh, fifth and sixth on St. Pedro, they were like going fast. They were going fast. Everybody was coming up for water. Everyone was polite. Everyone was respectful. Nobody made me feel weird. I had a couple of guys even come up to me and give me advice that next time I come down to Skid Row to, you know, um, have somebody with me. Um, I'm honestly, I, I, I wasn't as scared to walk down there. Um, I, I don't know. Um, there's a lot. Of, there is a lot of patrol. There is a lot of people out and about, um, kind of posted up in front of the buildings that they work out. There's a lot of outreach that goes on over here um, so yeah I'm thirsty I'm hungry I still have to walk back down to little Tokyo so yeah um, maybe on my way back to little Tokyo which is like two blocks down um, uh, maybe some four other people will want my water and I'll be done for the day I will have officially given 80 people water here on Skid Row <laughs> so let's keep going so right there is Little Tokyo, and when you go look at the opposite side of the street, Skid Row starts on that very next block. It's crazy how Little Tokyo is very gentrified. Um, for the majority, there's still, uh, it's pretty clean, I guess. Um, there's still homeless encampments sporadically over there. Um, also, like the government buildings are down there too, so you don't see them as much as you do when you start walking down San Pedro um, that way. So yeah. Let's go get something to eat. Wait. 
so I got water. I sold the last four, well not sold, but got gave away the last four of the water bottles. I already called my boyfriend to come and pick me up because I am tired. Um, that was fun. Next time I'm gonna make sure to get the right size water bottles. That was a fail. So yeah. I'm so tired. <laughs> Hi. So, um, if you made it this far in the video, I want to say first off, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming with me down to Skid Row and handing out water with me. Um, it was definitely something I can finally cross off my bucket list for the summer. When I tell you I had this unusual and it was a definitely a sudden urge a couple weeks back to go down to Skid Row and pass out water bottles. I, I I mean it. I don't know. There's no like deep story as to why I went to Skid Row or why I wanted to give out water bottles. A couple of weeks ago, I just like was up late at night and I was like reading my webtoons and then like I was like half asleep and then like I was just like I really need to go to Skid Row soon and give out water that's literally what happened there's like no deep story to it um i just i just had like this really bad itch to go to skid row and i thought if i'm going to go to skid row might as well be with purpose and so i thought up pretty randomly to just like hand out water um the last couple of weeks here in la have been death hot it's not even funny how hot it has been it's uncomfortable it feels like the Sun is just like beating down on you and I'm a person who lives in a high-rise apartment building with central AC and I'm complaining so I could only imagine what like the people who live on Skid Row essentially on the streets are experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis like with the afternoon heat and not having proper access to water or even clean water at that so yeah it just just made sense to to do that on friday um <laughs> i'm laughing because um Saturday morning, I woke up as if as if I had gotten ran over by like a truck. I was so sore and in so much pain. Everything ached. I'm not even joking. I'm not exaggerating. Everything was in pain. Like my whole body was in pain. And, you know... In the video, I didn't, like, I, you guys saw that I didn't realize that I bought the travel-sized 80-pack, 80-pack of water. And it doesn't sound like a lot, and it doesn't look like 80 travel-sized water bottles would be heavy in a wagon being pulled. And it wasn't in the moment, like, it wasn't, like difficult to like push rounds or anything it was just really hot that day like it just it was just really hot but i underestimated it and um yeah so i needed a couple of days to recover i'm still somewhat sore not as bad as saturday and sunday though like that was like it was just like i know i'm 25 but i'm not like nowhere near where I should be aching from pulling a wagon with like water bottles in it. Um, so yeah, um, I can't wait to do it again. Um, it was an amazing experience. I feel extremely humbled by it all. Um, I just go back to that day and I think about, um, you know, handing out the water bottles once I got to like pretty much like the center of Skid Row where um, the four-way intersection meets and you have all like the different um, outreach programs and agencies that work with um, 
the homeless population here in LA. And I remember that, um, you know, it was about like, I can honestly say like 10 people who came up for water, who approached me for water. Um, they had money in their hands. And, you know, that really, it really touched me. Um, because it, I, th I feel like it just like spoke to the character of these people who literally have nothing. And, you know, they were ready to give me a dollar for like travel sized water bottles, like this big water bottle, like literally, right? Um, it really touched me and of, of course, I'm not gonna charge them for even a regular sized water bottle. I, you know, that was all done. It, it was just all done because I wanted to, uh, not expecting anything in return. So that was something that really stuck out to me from that day. And um, it was just definitely surreal. And I just hope this video inspires whoever watches it to go out into their own community. And you don't necessarily have to you know, s spend a lot of money in order to get back to your community. You can do it by even offering up your time, donating clothes, um, donating perishables, um, donating books. Um, a little goes a long way, and these, a lot of the times they don't have anything. So when someone is even offering them to what, a, a lot of the times I feel like they really do appreciate even the small things. Each and every single one of them said thank you so much for doing this, like for um, for the water. And it was like this big and I, you know, I still feel like an a-hole. I, I can't believe I messed that up. But <laughs> next time I'll, I'll like triple check before I leave Costco. Um, but yeah, um, I can't wait to share more of my crazy ideas with you guys. Um, I'm just like really itching to just like really put myself in uncomfortable situations. Not saying that I was uncomfortable going down to Skid Row. I, I felt completely safe. No one made me feel uncomfortable or threatened or weird whatsoever. Um... But I just wanna, I just wanna do and share experiences with you guys and bring you guys along. To do like things that are just meaningful and have purpose and bring joy to not only me, but to other people. Um, and I just, I just want to um, journal these experiences. So I can't wait to show you what else I have up my sleeve. I am going to go. I also want to end this by saying that this has not been connected to anything. It has never been connected to anything. It literally, this just looks cool. It just looks really cool. I see people using this a lot and I just like it. So I got one and here I am. <laughs> Bye guys.